taking you on board a piece of living history. An aircraft crucial to winning the Cold War, the EC-135C, also known as the Looking Glass, currently parked in Ashland, Nebraska at the Strategic Air and Space Museum. New at 10, the new mission it's embarking on. That spent uh, three decades of flying alert missions. Ensuring the United States had communication connectivity to the forces. Continuous airborne alert missions that were part of our nuclear deterrent force uh, for our country. Admiral Cecil Haney, commander of U.S. Strategic Command, could not emphasize enough how important the looking glass and those on board are to our country's military history. Instrumental in our success in winning the Cold War. And even today, nuclear command control is crucial. It's one of those things that, that uh, is still required, still has a responsibility for managing uh, those nuclear weapons uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Bob Henson, retired Air Force three-star lieutenant general, worked on board the Looking Glass, the airborne command post for three decades. Henson now serves on the Strategic Air and Space Museum board, working to improve and promote the experience offered inside. He says this exhibit will not disappoint. It gives us a, a venue to return to uh, look at those days and remember I think it gives uh, young people an opportunity to come out and, and see all of the history that's uh, stored in the, in the walls of this uh, museum. The Looking Glass restoration is now underway, open to the public, and once it's finished, it will be the only one in the world on public display. Now, on another note, we've learned that board members may vote on Monday to change the name of the museum back to the SAC Museum to more accurately reflect the history displayed.